today's game that uh, I'm going to talk about is a game called Grounded. It's by Obsidian Entertainment. Basically, kids, you get shrunk down and you're in this awesome little universe, which you can see if you're watching the YouTube video. Um, you're really small. You get to see ants and you see tall grass. This is sort of that perspective. You've played this Army Men games again in the early 90s being small and everything else is big. Uh, so this is published by Xbox Game Studios. So if you are a Game Pass holder like Antoine is, uh, you get to play this for free, just paying your Game Pass money. It is being released, I am so surprised, next month. So at some point in the next 30 days, you'll be able to play this. Uh, lots of people have played it and loved it. It's, again, the sort of feedback loop of what you see Adam and I doing on Saturday, get resources, craft something, Go get there something, get more resources, craft something, and then you go up and up, up, up in levels. Um, there is some kind of story to this. One of the things I will say as well is while I am worried about the aspect of you playing by yourself or are you playing multiplayer, there I have read reviews of what people have said is that they said it is you still can play this single player. It is accessible in that sense. So today um, I'm talking about graphics. Again, this is with, I believe it's not a modern engine, so it does look fairly okay. Uh, again, gameplay, uh, very easy, very basic, and nothing overly complicated because the focus on this game is sort of enjoying the world, the survival mechanics. It's, it's not like um, playing, again, like Rust. I think this will be the most accessible crafting game um, that comes out. The future of this will be sort of be determined by the fact that like when it does come out, this lot, I think with a lot of early access games where the concept is very novel, very new, it's it loses a lot of uh, marketing impetus in a sense where it came out, people like, oh my God, this is exciting. People play, 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 play. And like, oh my God, I've done everything. And now, and now what? what else is there? Um, and that is something I didn't find. Maybe Adam has found it is the idea of like, what happens when you finish the story campaign? Is there a sandbox mode? Is there, like, what is the plan for upcoming content? I think that is what is going to live or break a game. But maybe in this sort of day and age, or maybe Adam can comment on that, is that uh, when you, you do come out and you are super hot, like Valheim was, like this game was, and people are pre-purchasing your game at full price, you've made enough money to sort of say, hey, investors, you gave us 50, 100 million to make this game. Look at what the interest people have shown. Um, and, and this is another reason why I like to showcase games like this is to support it because it is now where it is new. And I believe games like this should be supported. 